Alright guys, welcome back to your last video in this little introductory beginner game development tutorial with Construct 2. I don't know what I'm going to call the tutorial series yet. But in this last video, I just want to um, add a couple last things. One being that, first of all, whenever we're playing our game right now, we actually have a way to kill all the monsters. And then once we kill them all, it's like that's it. You can't get a score higher than 6. And another thing, as you guys are going to see, is... Well, you guys probably aren't even going to see. So, first of all, I'm going to make uh, more monsters. And second of all, I'm going to make it so that once these monsters actually catch you, then you die and they just don't, you know, pass through you like some kind of ghost. So let's go ahead and first um, spawn monsters randomly and regularly. So, we need to add a new event. And the event is basically gonna say okay well I'm just adding to you guys so at the system in let me see if I can find it every X seconds and I'll just put um let's put two why not so basically saying every two seconds that's the test that it looks for what do we want to happen well what we want to do is we want to create a new monster every two seconds so for the action, which is pretty much the result of what's going to occur every two seconds, is we want system create object. What object do you want to create? We want to create a monster. Where do you want to create it? On layer one, where all the cool stuff is going on. Now, X and Y is basically saying, where do you want to create it? Or, yeah, that's what it's doing. The X and Y coordinates. So for X, we'll just put 1400 in the Y put it random which remember gives you a random number and we'll just put 1024 which is basically good and give you a random number between 0 and 1024 and if I'm correct this is also an integer so it's not gonna be like 6.281 so basically um, spawn it in a random spot so done so now every two seconds it's gonna create a random monster so now we have like unlimited monsters we, it doesn't matter, you know, we just don't kill six monsters and then the game's done. And also, remember, the only other thing I wanted to do was actually have these monsters kill this dude whenever they caught him. So for this, I need a new event. And someone just messaged me on Facebook. Nope. It is a friend request. Hmm. Okay, okay. Get to that later. So, add new event. Where was I? Okay, I had a new event. Okay, I lost track here. So what we want to do is we want to check if the monster collides with the player, then something's going to happen. So the test we're looking for is if the monster, and it's called on collision with another object, player. So the test is when the monster collides with the player, and what do you want to happen? Well, all we have to do is put player destroy. So again, every two seconds, make a new monster, and when the monster catches the player, kill the player. Simple enough. So now, just go ahead and kill one of those guys. You guys probably can't see, but they are spawning. And now, oh, I don't know if you guys just saw on the right-hand side of your screen, they popped up. And of course, when one catches me, I get destroyed. So, wow, it is spawning a lot of monsters. Two seconds is probably a little too fast. You might want to put that at like four or five. But, uh, yeah, that's what it does. So, um, well, that's pretty much it for this like really basic series. But I just want to mention that this program is a lot more powerful and a lot more complex than just, you know, making monsters chase a dude around. You can pretty much make any 2D game you can possibly imagine. Check out some of the Construct 2 games and your guys' mind will be blown. So I will probably make a, uh, I don't want to make any promises, but I'm probably going to make um, a bunch of other tutorials on using this software because I love making tutorials and this software is actually really fun to uh, teach people how to use. So uh, for now, thank you guys for watching and remember to check out my website for all my latest videos and also the forum if you have any questions at all or else you want to just share your projects or collaborate it's an awesome place to do that so again thanks for watching and I'll see you around